Hi, this is my review of the Ricoh GR. Um, this is actually a really cool camera because it's it's kind of offbeat because it's not one of the major brands. It's not Nikon, it's not Canon, it's not Sony. Um, but it's a really, really interesting camera uh, and uh, it follows up on a heritage that, well, was originally based on cameras like this one the gr1v this is a film camera it's very small very tiny um exceptionally good quality uh with some flaws no this time it doesn't show uh, sometimes the lcd screen doesn't work properly but then you know you change the batteries or you just take them out put them back in and it works again um this camera is really really good 28 millimeter lens uh, well, it's film camera, so it's a full frame camera, um, but obviously digital has its advantages now. And so this camera came out after a series of smaller sensor cameras. This one was the first one with an APS-C size sensor. APS-C size means it's basically the same sensor you may have in some uh, digital SLR cameras or some uh, premium uh, compacts. Uh, it's a fixed focal length. It's an 18.3 millimeter 2.8 lens, which is a, a full frame equivalent, 35 millimeter equivalent of 28 millimeters. This may be a little bit wide for some people. You have to get close, especially for, well, I guess the main purpose of this camera would be street photography. Um, you have to get quite wide, quite close, but the quality of the camera is really exceptional. And one more thing I would like to point out is what this camera has, what basically no other camera has in, in, this, in this range or in this, um, within these types of cameras is it can be customized to an extent that is really, really exceptional. Uh, just for example, you know, I like to take night shots. Um, this camera can be set to up to, I think, 300 minutes. Uh, no, sorry, 300 seconds, so like uh, five minutes. Uh, most other cameras, if they don't stop at eight seconds, they will stop at 30 seconds. So this is really, really, really exceptional. Um, the quality of the images that come out of this camera are fantastic. Uh, even in low light, they're pretty decent. I have to add, I usually convert to black and white, so that makes it probably a little bit easier to get to get good results. But it's definitely a great, great little camera. And the advantage it has compared to many others, it's a little bit wider maybe than other compact cameras, but it's so thin when the when the lens is, is not extracted that it really fits with comfort into your pocket. So this camera is really the camera you can carry around all the time and you will not have the issue that I sometimes had when I carry around small cameras that I take a picture and I come back home, put it onto the computer and well, I think it's a good picture. Too bad the quality wasn't good enough. So if you if you accept the limitations of the fixed focal length, if you um, accept the limitations that you don't have a viewfinder, uh, you can attach an optical viewfinder to the to the ex well accessory part. It's basically a hot shoe, but you will basically have to have a piece of glass that you look through. So framing close up is not very accurate. Um, however, I mean, it's really compact. It's very light. It's very sturdy and um, it's, it's a great camera and I can really suggest it. Um, this was given to me as a present um, a year ago. I've a, a little more than a year ago. I've been using it a lot. I have to say really a lot. I've been carrying it around, carrying this around a lot and it's really, really a cool camera. Uh, battery consumption is acceptable and you can get, uh, well, both original and aftermarket batteries. Uh, just one little suggestion maybe, um, this battery is pretty similar to one that is produced I think for Panasonic. Actually it's almost the same with one little exception. These grooves, um, if they're not 
the deep ones that go all the way up to here, um, they will not fit into the Rico. They, so, so sometimes it happens that you order them, you get aftermarket ones that have the lower grooves or the not so deep ones, and um, this will not fit into the Rico. Uh, however, uh, you can get these quite cheap. Um, it's, it's really fantastic. I had few issues. I will post another video where I describe one issue that I, I had with this camera. Um, stay tuned and you will see some sample pictures I've taken with this camera and they're really, really, really cool. Thank you very much and uh, see you again.